Hello and welcome to another episode of Sports Federation TV. I'm Lynn Yukta Chetty and once again I'll be your host. Uh, we've got a great lineup today but remember in order to win that uh, case of assorted bashes drinks keep your cell phone ready for that announcement later on in the show. Uh, once again tonight we've got four amazing sports joining us. Sailing, softball, life-saving and athletics. Joining me first, from the world of sailing, we have Lindani Mchunu and Sianda Vato from the Royal Cape Yacht Club. Welcome guys. Thank you. And Hello. Lindani, uh, welcome Asia, Sianda. You, this is not your first time on the show That's and there's correct. been some amazing developments in, the, in, in your world. Um, how are things going at the academy? Well, I mean, things are going great. You know, um, the last time I came, uh, I think it was last year, I just started at the academy, which is almost a year ago. And since then, there have been great opportunities that uh, we've, we've come across. Uh, we've had uh, been working with uh, universities, the likes of uh, CPUT, uh, Granger Bay, CPUT, Belleville, most of the campuses. And then we did a youth regatta after that. We were able to invite high schools and uh, the universities as well and then after that we got an incredible opportunity to work with uh, the Volvo Ocean Race which was in Cape Town and it was a big affair. This it's a prestigious race. Hey, big, 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 big race that yeah. basically just takes over Cape Town yeah. for about three weeks and uh, they were in uh, the waterfront and um, we were able to race there uh, in the waterfront and just to showcase sailing to showcase the transformation that we're doing. Uh, that's really been the highlight, um, which was last year, November, late November to December. And that was really the highlight of, 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 of our academy last year, being able to work with the Volvo Ocean Race and being able to have the kids um, go and meet professional sailors, to go and uh, take walks on these amazing boats, you know, mm -hmm. and meet these teams and meet women as well who are into sailing, who are sailing around the world and going through hardships and going through hard conditions, uh, to be shown videos, you know, and to be shown just the whole process of putting a campaign together where you're going to go around the world and, and sail in the most difficult conditions out at sea. Uh, and then also kind of like, um, putting putting a picture to 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 the vision you know because mm. I think it's easy to to sell someone from a township that you know you can go from a township to become let's say a Volvo Ocean uh, sailor and be and, and sail on a big boat and, and get paid and do, and do the sport professionally you can sell it you can show them the videos you can but if they actually meet the people you know and here they are and they get to talk with mm. them and they see the boats then I mean, then it, then it just sells itself, you know, because then they're able to see, oh, actually, this is a reality, you know. Mm. So for me, that was just the highlight to be able to to walk the talk, because you know, it's like every time I'm with them, I'm inspiring them, I'm motivating them, I'm saying, this is what can happen, this is what you can do. But then to actually have them meet the guys and say, okay, this is what I was talking about, this is how far you can take it, and now the guys are in front of you, and for them to see women as well, because I have quite a lot of girls in my academy, you know. Yeah, I've, I've, met, yes. I've met some phenomenal women Ex from your sport on e the show. Exactly. Over the last year. Exactly. You uh, know? Sianda, yeah, boy. what's your involvement with the club? Um, so I'm actually currently a bosun um, for the Royal Cape Yacht Club Academy. Um, and what that means is you look after all the boats, you make sure that they're ready um, when they need to go racing. We're currently involved in a project. Um, where we're refurbishing an old boat um, so we can get her ready and um, put more kids through uh, programs and get them involved and get, um, get them to get licenses, um, which is really cool. So that's really uh, one close to my heart. Mm. So when you, when you speak, you, you've mentioned refurbishment. Yes. So it's not just the sailing aspect, it's also all the technical aspects around the yachts that are involved in your program. Um, yes, um, as you may um, know, uh, it all starts on land, so you need to prep up, uh, you need to prep boats uh, uh, to go out to the ocean. That it all starts on land, so you need to be organized. And yeah, it's really cool. So your program is developing crew? Yeah, yes. so basically, you know, as, 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 as Sia is saying, um, which was quite 
um, uh, visible during the Volvo. I keep on using that as, an, as a reference because there everything is laid out. Um, mm -hmm. They have a loft, you know, and they have a boat yard and the boats come out of the water. And from there, they basically get stripped apart. And from the sails to the mast, to the rig, to everything, you know. Ah. So you're talking about lots of industries that are getting involved. And the kids are able to see that sailing is not just, the, in fact, the end game is to get on the water and sail the boat. And but it's a team sport. And it's a yeah. team sport. And there's so right. many people that are involved in it. And there's so many careers just on land to get the boat prepared, to get, I mean, there are publicists. There's all sorts of people that are involved, you know, within sailing. So that's, that's really, as an academy, what we're trying to do. We're trying to, to show our kids and their parents, which mm -hmm. is key, because this sport sometimes it suffers from people because it's a non-traditional sport. And it's an elitist sport. And I mean, right. stereotypically, exactly. it's an yeah. elitist sport. So it, suff it suffers from that, from, mm -hmm. from parents and the community at large not understanding that it actually can be a mainstream mm -hmm. career. So to, for, 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 for the kids to see that and see that you can take it as a career, as a profession, you know, then that for me is, is, is gold, is gold, yeah. yeah. And your program is sustainable. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because yeah, def like you said, you can't sell a dream that mm -mm. you can't sustain. No, it's not about yeah. that. And, mm. and what I've seen as well, you know, and I said this when I was here the last time, is that w w with our academy, we're not only limiting ourselves just to sailing. We're using our academy and sailing as a door to the maritime industry as a whole, mm. you know? So out of that, we don't even mind producing naval architects. We don't mind producing marine engineers. We don't mind producing tug pilots. As a result, we're now partnering up with the likes of Transnet, with the many maritime related industries because some of the kids, maybe they won't be sailors, but there's no need for us to lose them. Yes. We can actually then put them into other maritime related careers that have to do with the ocean. Yes. Yeah. No it's phenomenal. I think, uh, you know, in our, in our Defense Force as well, the Navy probably operates on the same kind of... Exactly. Uh, you expose people to everything exactly. and see what catches their fancy. And see what, fancy. what catches their fancy, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Sia, um, Sia and Das, sorry yeah. that I keep calling you good. Sia. Um, tell us about some of the highlights in your career as a sailor. Wow, I've had amazing, amazing opportunities. Um, I've had uh, opportunities to go to Mozambique. Um, opportunities to sail on the wild coast which have been really 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 um, amazing you go through so many different I don't know aspects and you get to learn so much more about people about boats about yourself most importantly um, just recently the beginning of this year I came back from uh, Rio I took part in the keep Cape to Rio race um, I did and I did the race there and brought the boat back that was amazing um, and now I've got the opportunity to go and sail in Spain uh, and um, learn from the professional world how things are done and uh, wow, yeah. So you said Cape to Rio. Yes. Um, I remember last year I interviewed uh, the crew of the Vulcan, I think, who did very well yes. in, in the race. That's how correct. did your team do? Uh, we were seventh overall. Which is pretty excellent as well. It's really excellent. I, I yeah. think we did well, considering uh, the sailors we had on board, because it was two families and I was sort of the gopher. Um, I was the guy who goes and does everything in the middle of the night, you wake up. So it's, it was really cool. A, a lovely, lovely adventure. I'd recommend anybody try it out. It should be on people's bucket lists. And I'd do it again. To do the Cape to Rio. Yeah. Lovely. Uh, so is there any events that we can look forward to from the Academy in the near future? Uh, so just now, what's going to happen just in June, we're having um, the youth, youth regatta again in June. And then we're having a very prestigious um, uh, race called the Lipton Cup, uh, mm. which is South Africa's premier uh, event when it comes to really sailing. Uh, it's very close to what Sia is talking about in terms of the Rio. And that will be happening in Durban in uh, July, beginning of July. Mm. So the kids will be taking part there. And it's all about exposure. And it's all about getting them to race with professional sailors and getting their game you know, even further, further up. Yeah. So yeah. I yeah. mean, the, the fact that the South Africans are, are doing so well in these international prestigious events That's correct. Uh, means that we've got a pretty bright future That's ahead. Correct. Hey? That's yeah. correct. And more black children involved yeah, in the exactly. sport, exactly. especially. Exactly. Um, okay, so where can people get more information if they'd like their kids to join or if adults want to join? Uh, well, 
Basically, we're the Royal Cape Yacht Club, so we're a premier club in South Africa. If you go online and you just say Royal Cape Yacht Club, it'll pop up, and then when it pops up, you go to the website, and on the website, you'll see Royal Cape Yacht Club Academy. Uh, for the younger generation, if you go to Instagram or Facebook, you can go there and say RCYC Sailing Academy, and you'll find us. We have a Facebook page, we have an Instagram page where we post yeah. all our pictures and everything. So it's, it's pretty easy to find us if you just go online. And we're based here in Cape Town. We're right inside the harbor by the water. And your door's wide open and, and the, the ocean's and wide the, open. And the door's <laughs> wide open and the ocean is wide open. In fact, this coming Friday on the 27th, we're having a Pinto Russell race, uh, which is um, just a club race and it's a cruising race. And we're going to race to Robben Island, go and pry there and all of that. So yeah, we're always, we're always trying to, to sail. We're always trying to get people involved. We're always trying to get kids involved and we're always opening doors, you know. So for people like Sia now, who's going to Spain, you know, that's what, it, that's what it's all about. For him, going there is, is, is another tick of the box, you know, to, to have a guy coming from where he is, coming from the background that he's coming with, a young black guy like him, to get an opportunity to be racing with Spanish guys, top boats and all of that. Maybe there'll even be Olympic sailors there. That's what we're trying to do, you know. So we're trying to show our kids that this is a non-traditional sport and it's only non-traditional because we don't know the tradition. So mm -hmm. we need to get into it and become a part of it and get into the culture. Yeah, the yeah. world is bigger than soccer, yeah. hey? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Definitely. rugby and cricket. Definitely. Excellent. Yeah. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us. Thank and thank you. you for the work that you're doing and the opportunities you're availing to the communities. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, there we have it from the world of sailing. A world once thought to be elitist and inaccessible to the masses uh, at the royal uh, yacht C uh, royal cape yacht club they're making these opportunities accessible to everybody after the break we'll be back with news from another amazing sport please stay tuned <laughs>